all right guys today we're gonna open up this uh cedar over here okay so uh man it's such a long <laughs> wait uh when i bought this home i told my wife no i think i've been through the seven stages of grief just to wait for this guy over here then she look at me and then uh she just walk away okay <laughs> so um i got the red one so if you're interested in the blue one you can uh head on to uh sites um youtube channel i'm gonna put a link over there you can get to see the blue color cedar so man uh let's let's uh, open this up actually i've opened up this before because i mean how can i not right so we wait for so long so i guess this is a re-unboxing i i don't know anyway uh let's take a look at the content uh, this is the box it's actually pretty big uh, it's quite quite a big box so um then over here this is the other side so uh you can see that uh there are there, there are some uh, pump grip over here that is uh i think it's going to be an accessory that uh you have to purchase in the future i guess so anyway okay so this is a box uh, pre, pre, uh not too bad not too bad uh so uh i i appreciate this type of box as a collector because i do collect toys so this will be easy to store if you are planning to know collect uh store it in in whatever storage you have so if you open it up this is something that i like even in the inside okay they do something like this it looks like a lightsaber right okay, anyway <coughs> okay let's uh, open this up okay so yeah so this is a uh, container box uh some instruction now when i when i first look at this uh yeah uh, i'm a bit impatient i probably don't want to read the instruction but uh when i look at the one below man this is <laughs> it's quite uh nicely drawn i appreciate that so so i took some time to read the instruction and then of course i read this guy over here so you know that they actually throw in let me see whether okay they if oh okay better okay stay okay anyway they throw in the additional clear book slate uh for for the omi uh, internal kit so that is a that is a transparent uh additional clear book slate inside which i'll show you later on so this is uh good all right so this is the instruction okay okay this is pretty nice okay i like the way they uh do up all the things Spend, you can see that uh, this guy just spent quite some time so good job to you okay and then <laughs> over here I, I didn't I didn't I didn't realize Sida is actually close engagement that sort well at least it's not named after a fish right all right <laughs> okay so I've uh, actually opened this up before so I have took a look at all the things inside so you have uh, the top part the uh, the main body and the magazine okay and then the butt stock below is the dart okay so mine is the red one so i'm not too sure whether to you know use this dart okay <laughs> for testing or anything after all i only have 12 so what if it is a uh, super accurate and uh go go a great distance i only have 12 right anyway I'm not too sure okay uh yeah so there are okay there's a orange o-ring okay uh, when I look at the uh, this guy over here, you already have a, a black O-ring, so this is this is probably an extra, but it's of a different color. Probably it is of for a different purpose. So I I mean, uh, people watch my channel know that I'm not really a Springer guy. So <laughs> I guess for all those in-depth in-depth testing, I'm gonna leave it to my fellow YouTubers like uh, OC Nerf and Bradley. I I believe they'll do a great great job. So I'm just going to you know do some assem assembly and try try to fi figure my way out over here. All right. So this is the uh, thing over here. So when I took a look at this magazine, man, this is nice. I like it. All right. So it's pretty smooth, and I, I, I do like the way they. Oops. I do like the way they do this. So the the uh, follower actually you know you you don't have a lot of uh, movement to your follower. It's pretty straight down and straight up there is no left and right so and uh it's really really smooth okay does it does it fit enough uh blaster let me let me just okay that there doesn't seem to be a uh, front or back uh just a katana bag i believe it can uh, put it both ways 
Oh, alright. It does fit the uh, the uh, Nerf blasters. I mean, I would buy like, uh, you know, if it's uh, 18 or 22. I don't really like those uh, 22 that's curved. In fact, I don't like those curved magazines because it's pretty difficult to store. So I actually prefer straight. Yeah. So this is a 12, 12 dot. Okay. I hope they produce uh, like 18 and 22s. I will definitely buy them. Anyway. Okay. So these are these are the stuff. So I'm gonna take them out one by one. So this is the butt stock. Okay. This is not the uh best bus butt stock out there so uh, but it's pretty smart to design it this way you don't need any extra uh no assembly so it's serviceable okay it's a uh, quite serviceable so let's take a look later on so you have the uh, main body now it comes assemble in this way so um but later on i'm gonna take out all these pieces to tell you what to uh, uh take note of uh, or if it even came out during shipping or whatever okay you, you know what to do basically it's all in the instruction okay so the mag release is actually here okay pretty smart way okay i quite like it then there's actually a safety also over here as well which we will take a look hey all right so the last one is basically this guy over here okay so this is uh this is the one i say this is the uh free uh boat slate Okay, so they already have one over here. Well, I hope I don't get to use this because if I do, that means this is broke. But uh, this is nice. Oh, okay, yeah, I can put it aside. All right, so we have all the components. Okay, I'm going to uh, close the box. Uh, okay, and then we will be back. Okay, we are back. Okay, so... Uh, yeah so uh when you um, unbox it it comes this way and then of course the other side is this way so basically you just need to put them together but uh let me just show you okay uh if uh, how to get this out basically just remove it this guy over here you can uh, force it open a little bit and then use this little finger to uh, push it out okay as you can see it's pretty easy then if you want to put it in you just push it back in again okay push it out now one thing you probably want to take note of okay take out the spring now you will, okay if you were to take this out there's actually a uh, sort of a protection white thing over here in front okay if you want to remove it do some test testing uh, i'd love to know okay so this is supposed to be the speed seal so if you push it it's supposed to oh, Okay, so you quite far. Okay, it's movable, right? Then you push it, so you straight with seal. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Now, one very important thing to take note of, which I make some mistake uh, when I first look at it. Now, if you look at this guy over here, let me just focus it. Okay, can I focus it? Okay, you see a, a an arrow, right? Okay. I'll probably mark it later on with my marker but you can see an arrow okay this is supposed to face up when you install the uh, this plunger over here okay so um, so again if this got got off okay you just put it somewhere okay, okay yeah let me just okay put it in put it in make sure the arrow is up okay then you can just uh, okay, sl slide it in okay so you can just slide it in like, like this again okay make sure the arrow is up and then you can just push it in yep so you get it uh, fixed there okay this guy over here you see a sort of a rail okay up and down so all you need to do is to align and go in between so you can slide in and out all right and this guy over here you just push it in so it, it actually come pre-greased so 
so yeah okay so this is the uh, this part of the blaster now over here okay so it seems that it's pretty example assemble right so in fact you can actually remove the barrel over here so what you can do is there's a white catch over here okay so if you not sure you can see so you can actually push this white white catch up okay okay so it's uh it's it's pretty tough okay so if you were to push it up and then push the barrel you can actually release it okay and then of course you can take it out okay i think this is a good move so you can remove your barrel okay easily to do some maintenance okay yep so there's, there's this more boxy boxy side of it it's supposed to you know face up when you slot the barrel in because you need to sort of like uh, catch with this white thing over here so you just push it in push it up a little bit and push it in okay make sure it locks well okay you can't push it out anymore and there we have it okay it is back in okay so let's uh exam assemble this guy so you have these two knob over here my suggestion is uh try to unscrew it not all the way but uh just uh make sure you don't get in the way okay when you try to fit the two blaster together okay then come to here I'll make sure it's focused okay okay you see these two white ribs over here and then there are two grooves over here so they are meant to uh, you know, go hand in hand Okay. Yeah, I'm at a strange angle so I can't really see. But it's actually easier than this. Okay. Okay. Now you will find some resistance because of the boat slate. Okay, so uh, what you can do is uh you can slowly adjust it. Okay. Okay, so you 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 find some resistance at first for because of boat slate. So you just find adjust it, and then eventually you just you know slide in and out over here. This tool will guide um, the uh, top portion. Now, when I first tried to assemble this, okay, I reached a point where I hit this part. Okay, and then it doesn't go in anymore. Okay, so I thought, oh no, is is, is that a, a mistake or something of, of mine or something like that? I realize <coughs> okay it is actually not it's just that it's, it's brand new and it's a bit tight so of course what you can do is uh, you can light sand it if you want okay over this this portion and this one you just light sand it just because I, rea I realize it, it is a little bit sharp if not you just you can use a little bit of force and then force it in okay and it'll be in um, so after the first exam assembly when I took it out it's actually easier to uh, to to go in okay so next now you have your boat slate so all you need to do is to align this screw and then uh, sort of like uh, put it in okay okay and then of course the other side all right so there we have it Okay, you have your main body assembled. Now you gotta come to this guy over here. You got the long one and the short one. Okay, and the short one over here. So the additional O-ring. Okay, I'll just leave it. <laughs> Alright, okay, so a long one and a short one. So the long one is for the uh, bottom. nicely done okay the short one is for the uh, top okay so I'm gonna just put it here okay nicely nicely done okay so at this stage probably you can uh, you can try to prime it
Yep. So uh, the um, stock piece. Remember this. You got to push it down. Okay. Then you slide in just nice. Uh, not too bad. Serviceable. Okay. So you look something like this. So yeah. So it be something like this. Okay. Magazine. Another drop. Uh, oh, sorry, because I, I um, have the boat slate uh, forward. Okay, let me just uh, push it back. Oh no, that was loud. <laughs> okay, so not bad, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, okay, so this is uh, assembly, all right. Now, I guess everybody is interested in the FPS, but the thing is. I have a pretty bad uh, chronograph, so I'm not too sure how accurate it is. Yes, I'll shoot a few darts. Okay, I'll try some darts. So if you don't get the numbers, then no. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I'm just not good at uh, testing SPS, FPS. Like I say, for those reviews, probably I'm going to rely on my fellow YouTubers like Ocinerf and uh, Bradley. Uh, I'm sure they'll do a much better job. I'll put a link. I'll put a link to their channel if you have not heard of them. So uh, go to their channel, take a look. Now, okay. So uh, I play. Oops. Okay, I play with this uh, blaster. So in fact, there is another way to uh, example and dis uh, dismantle this because you know uh, the instruction says uh, you need to uh, sort sort of like uh, uh, remove these screws. Okay, uh, to do that. But I think it's a bit, a little bit too tedious, so I'm gonna show you another way. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh sort of dismantle this guy. So if you want to dismantle this, this guy, so what you do? You just pull out two pins, and then you can actually slot this whole thing out, including including the boat slate over here okay over here so you can you can uh, dismantle all these things so if you want to change a spring again if you want to move this just use your thumb to force this two side open use your index finger and just push it out and then that's it it's out when you put it in make sure the arrow is up put it in so now you can do your maintenance and everything you can uh, okay so over here you can just push it back now this thing will become loose yeah so another way okay without removing this thing okay because it takes some time so you can now position position your boat slate okay 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 and then push in okay okay align it okay push this in okay and then uh, there you go you is back in right all right I have two different stock over here Okay, so um, I've removed the uh, the stock that came with the cedar, so you can see you can uh, just fit in other stocks easily. Okay, so this does not go in. Okay, this is basically uh, okay. Yeah, I need to this portion. Yep. Okay, so it does fit in easily. Okay, over here. Just now this guy is blocking, so yeah. Okay, so it's you should be uh you should be able to use whatever stock you want. So it's, it's quite nice, so you don't need to buy another attachment for this purpose. Alright. Okay, so okay, I'll put in the official stock. Alright, pump grip is uh serviceable again, okay, not the best, uh, but pretty wide and uh not too bad over here all right so the next thing to do is to try to get some um readings right guys so i'll try my best 
okay, take out my crappy chronograph and see what kind of numbers we get. Yep. Okay, first we'll test the uh, official dart. Oh, sorry. Forgot to on. Okay, did not register. D6. D6. Next, I'll test the waffle. Okay, I think that's an error. Fifty two. Next, uh, I'll test the AccuFig. Hundred. Fifty-four. I think that did not register. Okay, uh, last I'll test the ACC dots. Okay, that we that will conclude the uh, very simple firing. Okay, so in conclusion, do I like the uh, Sida? <laughs> so I'll say, uh, I forgot how much I paid for it, but anyway, um, it is serviceable. And uh, what I really, really like is this magazine over here. I think they did a great job. Okay, especially the follower, I like it. Okay, yeah. So um, I hope they produce this um, magazine with a uh, different capacity. Uh, for full-length uh, dart user yeah so um, what else can I say um, I look forward to some other accessories that uh, they are going to come out with um, I'm quite surprised that uh, the handle here they didn't take the opportunity to you know, smack us smack us with some some motif here or some logo here but it's good then I can uh, maybe do some other graphics over here uh, anyway okay so uh it is really easy to uh take apart which is uh, what attracts me in the first place uh it's uh, slightly different from uh, the rest of blaster no more screws yeah so i look forward to the uh, next uh, installments from jet yeah so thanks for watching i'm tungsten